Hi, I'm Dave from boyinaband.com and today I'm here in Record for a change to show you Neptune Auto Tuner. Well, it's more than just an auto tuner. It's got voice synth stuff going on, but I'll show you what it can do in just a second. First things first, I've created a simple beat that's r and horrific enough for me to do some serious auto tuning over. I've run the vocal track into Neptune, followed by a compressor, bit of reverb and delay to make it uber cheesy pop. And if we look down here, I've got a block. I really like blocks in Reason 5, by the way, and record. Make things so much quicker to work with. And it's just got a beat, bass and lead, just making this. Seriously cheesy beat. So, as you can see, the uh, vocals are going straight into this vocals track. You have to make sure it's selected, otherwise it's not going to do very much. But it's selected, and we're going to record a simple vocal line, which I'll auto-tune the crap out of. Okay, so here we go. <clears throat> Let's turn that off. So as you can hear, we've now got that oh so brilliant take of vocals in there. And let's just see how powerful this thing is. We're gonna start off by auto-tuning it in the share T-Pain kind of style, the hard tune as some people call it. And you do this by making sure the preserve expression is on zero. We want no expression at all. And correction speed right up to full. We turn it to zero, no, nothing's gonna happen. I'll solo it out and show you. Apologies for the uh, painfulness of this vocal. Go, go, go. Okay, that's painful. If we put it on correction speed full. Now you can hear that hard tuning kicking in there. But it's not in key with the rest of the song. So we can soon sort that out. Just to find out which key I put it in. Shalkara, it's C minor. So we go into Neptune, and where it says scale, we're going to change that to natural minor, and it's already C by default. So that should be in key with the song now. So let's take a listen. As you can see, it's in key with the song now, but it's still not very good. So instead of doing a new take, I'd be a sucker. I'm going to right click and create a track for auto tunerificness, which is uh, what Neptune's called by default in the rack in uh, record. And here you can see if I play on my keyboard, the MIDI will be triggering what notes it plays. So I'll show you a little example of this. Here we go. Yeah, you can use it in unconventional ways like that, or you can actually use it to try and make a reasonable melody. Very fun. Okay, so that's the uh, hard tuning, and we can easily just record that if we want to. I'll just show you that quickly. Go to this yeah at the end, do some recording. As you can see, there's the uh, notes, and take a listen. Wow, brilliant. You can see that it works anyway. So I'll delete that. Now, next thing I want to show you is transpose. It's quite a simple one. It just moves the uh, the whole pitch of the thing up or down a certain amount. You could do it by semitone, which is properly preferable, or cent if you want it a tiny, if you want it detuned a tiny amount. 
but I'm going to stick with semitone and take a listen as I take the semitone down and up. So we've got that demon voice and the chipmunk voice available. Very convenient. Now, if you don't want the demon or chipmunk attacking your song, click formant here and that will automatically correct the formant, which is something every vocal has, kind of defines the tone of someone's voice. And you can alter it, or you could just leave it to automatically change it as it's transposed. So we're going to turn it, yep, it's right up to full, so it should be chipmunky, but because of the formant, watch what happens when I add the formant. And if I take it right down, sounds a bit weird because we've pushed it really far but you can hear that it's more of a natural sounding voice than the aforementioned demon or chipmunk. If you change the formant up or down you can actually make it so that the normal untransposed vocal can sound like one of the previously mentioned creatures. <laughs> okay so that's some of the simple functions. One of my favorite ones is the voice synth. So we're going to change the MIDI to root to the voice synth. And we're going to get rid of the pitch signal and just leave the voice synth on. Now, if we play it this time, nothing comes out. That's because with the voice synth, you have to be playing something on the keyboard for it to work. Let's see if we can play some chords. Jason Derulo, eat your heart out, or Imogen Heap, or whoever. Anyway, that's about it. We've got the uh, pitch bend available as well, so you can properly use it like a synth. So if we test it out. And last but not least, the input values here. You can make it so that it's tuned to work with a low frequency instrument like a bass or a really deep voice or wide vibrato so that if you've got some operatic singer going into an auto tune yet for some weird reason, you can account for that. And live mode, which means that it works as the signal is coming in the first time. So if you were to use record in a live instance, you could get auto tune on your voice that way. Now that's just a few simple things, there's obviously a lot more options here that you can tweak in order to get your pitch adjustment a bit more natural sounding, but I just wanted to show you some of the more creative applications for using Neptune. Cheers for sticking around, and get auto-tuning!